It's Mark Weens here. I am in Bangkok, Thailand, and I am in one of the epicenters of a dish known as Kwai Tiao Kua Kai, which is a famous stir-fried noodle dish. Um, and I am sitting down at one of the most famous places in Bangkok called Kwai Tiao Kua Kai Nai Hong. Kwai Tiao Kua Kai is actually a very, quite a simple dish. It really only includes a handful of ingredients, the wide rice noodles, there's chicken in there, there's pickled squid, and, and an egg. And then it, there's always some lettuce on the bottom. But I, I think really that's basically it. Not a lot of seasoning, maybe a little bit of salt and pepper, um, but it's really just a simple dish. And the reason why it is so flavorful and so good is the way that it's cooked. So it's kind of slow cooked using a lot of oil actually. Um, so it gets a nice little char on the noodle itself. So it has like real smoky, should have a real smoky flavor to it. And that's the, the reason why the dish is so, so delicious. Uh, okay. The street food environment here could not be any better. This place is, is just awesome. This is proper street food dining. I'm gonna go in straight for the prick bone, which is the dry chili flakes, and sprinkle quite a generous supply of that over my noodles first. Most Thai people like to eat it with sauce prick, which is the tomato tangy kind of sauce. So I'm just gonna do a little bit first. Oh, that looks awesome. You can, you can just actually smell like charcoal in these noodles. Mm. Wow. That is fantastic. Whoa, a little piece of noodle almost fell out of my mouth. Mm. That is amazing. Wow. You can just taste like fire in these noodles. The noodles are a little bit sticky, but at the same time, they have a crunch on the outside. This is brilliant. This is, it's a little bit salty, some good spice from that, that chili flakes, and a little bit of sweetness from the, the sauce pig. Wow. See this piece of chicken? It even has like some, some brown, golden beauty on it. Oh, just brilliant. This is awesome. This is by far the best version of Kwai Tiao Kwa Kai that I've ever had. It's really, really top-notch, high-quality street food right here. I'm almost finished with my first bowl. I think I have to order another one because this stuff is insanely good. At the last minute, just before ordering another bowl of the same Kwa Kai, I saw on the menu another option. They call it Gao Lao Kwa Hang and it's something I've never seen before, but basically gao lao means without noodles. So you can order like a bowl of soup noodles um, with just all but like meatballs and pieces of meat and vegetables without the noodles, and that would be called gao lao. So this is basically the same thing. It's the egg, the chicken, the squid, and an extra portion of egg, um, but with no, it's noodle-less. There are no noodles in this, so it's just a, it's actually what you could call a giant omelet. She used like a half a cup of oil in this thing, a big handful of chicken, and an unknown amount of eggs. Uh, what a just a trophy of an omelet. Hello protein. Oh man, this is spectacular. Wow. 
that is salty, crispy on the edges, and just delicious. The pieces of chicken are amazing. This goes down as one of the best omelets I've had in a very, very long time. I like that. I am ridiculously satisfied right now. Um, all I really want to do is like pat my stomach and man, that was awesome. That was just awesome. Get it up. Did you, was it on camera? I don't know. Sure. Maybe you could hear pung. Whoa. Okay. A mango just fell off the tree just behind me and almost took me out. That would have been quite a story to tell if I would have been knocked out by a mango during a meal. Okay. This place is so good. A lady just walked up and just ordered 50, 50 bowls of it to go. Wow. That's, that's ballin' right there. I'm glad we got our order in before that. <laughs>